Hey guys, it's Jeremy here Mental Music Meltdown, back with another video. Whatever today guys is another album review. This time we're going to be checking out the 10th studio album from the traditional metal slash epic doom metal band Grand Magus. Love these guys, was introduced to them back in around 2012. Picked up a few of their albums through Nuclear Blast on a Black Friday sale and uh, fell in love right away. I think I only have about three or four of their albums so, so far. Um, but like I said, this is their 10th Stewart album, uh, their follow-up to their 2019 uh, Wolf God, so it has been five years, they're, they're definitely overdue. And I uh, love these guys, just big guitar sounds, really good traditional heavy metal with some doom elements mixed in, super epic sounding, sing-along choruses, everything you want your traditional metal band to be. Uh, love these guys. So I was really pumped for a new album, like I said, 10th Stewart album entitled uh, Sun Raven, also a nuclear blast. 35 minutes in length, uh, nine tracks in total, nice and compact. Uh, beginning with the album art, uh, love their logo, the, the, the font they use for the logo. Uh, the illustration on the al album for this one is pretty simplistic, but I love the overall look of it and the color scheme is really eye popping and catches your eye. If you were in um, a CD store or record store and you saw this on the racks, you would definitely catch your attention, catch your eye. So it's very effective. Uh, most of the songs are in the three to four minute range, pretty compact songs. Most of them are like three and a half minutes. There's only one that's over five minutes in total. Um, beginning with the opening uh, album, opening song I should say, Skybound. I think that was the first um, single they released. Easily one of my favorite songs on the album. Perfect song to open up the album. Just super rockin' and really good catchy guitar riffs, crunchy guitar riffs, and just fun to sing along vocals and big chorus. Um, if you listen to the song, you'll hear what I what I mean. Um, you'll just start singing along right away. You'll have your fist in the air. Just really epic, fun to listen to, heavy metal, really good stuff. Uh, the second song, The Wheel of Pain, another song, another banger. Big guitar riffs, great solos. Um, the musicianship is very bombastic and in your face. The chorus on this one didn't hit as hard. It was kind of more mellow, subdued and didn't really hit the same. Uh, that was one downfall to that song, but overall still a banger, really good guitars, vocals sound great, just the chorus wasn't quite there. And the third track is the um, title track, might be my favorite album on, uh, song on the album. Really banging song, big guitar riffs, heavy drums, very rhythmic and very catchy rhythm. Um, again, big chorus, big song long, sing along chorus, and just an epic, epic song, probably my favorite on the album. Uh, Winter Storm had a bit much uh, crunchier, kind of deeper riff to it, uh, a little bit different of a sound. The chorus again was a little bit less a little lackluster compared to some of the other previous tracks, uh, but overall a really good tune, pretty solid. Uh, that's the one that was five minutes, and there was there's two songs that are five minutes. The next one, Black Lake, had a much darker kind of sound to it, um, kind of a different vibe, kind of a more eerie, kind of ominous. Uh, heavier, darker sound to it. I really dug the riff on this one. Very crunchy and kind of, like I said, a little bit darker on the doomier side. They do draw a lot of influence from Doom in the, on their uh, musicianship. So really dug that track really good. Uh, Hour of the Wolf had a bunch of much more higher tempo to it com uh, compared to the previous songs. The, uh, the rhythm section was very much more higher tempo. Great guitar riffs on this one. Had kind of like a kind of like a pubby kind of chanty kind of feel to it in the riff kind of hard to explain but had that kind of feel to it uh, but pretty good song i enjoyed that one nice tempo and uh nice and compact and it's it got to the point uh grendel uh was another one that was um three and a half minutes again back to some big big guitar sounds most of the songs sound similar for the most part um they don't deviate too much from the from the uh, formula, but uh, overall, there's a couple songs that had a little, a little bit different rhythms and stuff. But Grendel was a good song, but nice and heavy. Uh, a little bit heavier riffs on this one as well, a little bit uh, compared to the previous tracks. Not so leaning on the chorus as much. And the the to Horat, I think it's called, is only three minutes. That was a banger of a song, much heavier. The chorus was really bombastic in your face kid hard really like that song as well really good stuff and number nine the last track uh, at the end belongs to you three minutes and 21 seconds 
Uh, nice epic feel to this one. Again, big guitar riffs, but there's a nice little lead, guitar lead in the middle of the song and towards the end. That was just super epic sounding, like something you would hear on like a Gladiator movie or Braveheart or something like just that epic kind of going to battle kind of so kind of sound. A nice way to close out the album. Overall, only 35 minutes. Good length for an album. In my opinion, an album between 35 to 45 minutes is kind of the sweet spot. Anything over 45, um, you start to get filler and like it gets bloated. Um, so I like I prefer more I prefer the more compact albums that are around the 35, 40, 45 minutes mark. I find they just kind of get in, get out, more more compact songs. They don't try to put too much ideas into the songs and make it bloated. Uh, but I love this album, really solid stuff. Uh, production's really good, the guitars are huge, massive guitar sound. Um, the, the drums are punchy, they're very distinct. Um, you don't hear the bass as much in this. There's some songs you hear a little bit more, but it's there for sure. Uh, instrumentation overall, really good playing. Love the guy's vocals. He's got the perfect kind of vocals for that kind of sing-along, epic, heavy metal kind of song, music. Um, love his vocals as well. Just a really fun album to listen to. Like once you hear these guys, you kind of understand. It's hard to explain how they sound, uh, but they're just really fun to listen to. Epic heavy metal, a little bit of doom metal in there. Uh, but there's kind of metal you want to put your fist in the air. Just fun to listen to, have a good time, bang your head a little bit, crunchy guitar riffs, just pretty straightforward heavy metal, but just sounds amazing. Uh, in terms of a ranking, it's not my favorite album from the band. I still think I prefer, uh, what was it called? Uh, try, I know, Sword Songs from 2016. It was my cat. Uh, from 2016, I think that's still my favorite album by them. But this is definitely, out of the 10 albums they put out so far, I'd say this is probably in the top five or six. Really solid album. Love the artwork. I'd probably give it a rating of mm, 7.75, maybe 8. It's up there for sure, probably eight. Uh, really solid album. It got exactly what I wanted from these guys. Just some more fun to listen to, sing along, heavy metal tunes. I'll definitely be picking this up on physical copy eventually. Uh, so let me know down below, guys, what you thought of the album. If you've never heard of these guys, uh, please go check them out. You'll you'll love it. Really good band. And thanks for watching, guys. And keep it metal.